every now and again in a competition, we all eat a dish that we will never forget. That is absolutely outstanding. One hour left. Gentlemen, one hour left. I've pushed myself to the wire from the very start of this competition. And I don't intend to stop that and go easy myself for the final round. The final cook's going to be pretty savage. I've got a lot to do in the time allocated, uh, a lot of things that can go wrong. You are the youngest chef in the final. You're a sous chef, you're not head chef. Have you realised the enormity of this achievement? Age is a number at the end of the day. I believe in myself and I believe in my abilities, so I think it's that self-belief that's got me here. Have you been developing as a chef? Massively. Um, i developed so much throughout the entire competition. These three uh, dishes I'm going to cook for you today are the you know, most accurate representation of the food that I want to be cooking. I'd love to give you some food that you'll, you'll never forget and you know, you'll remember as me a chef and, and want to come to my restaurant in the future. For a younger chef in the kitchen, he's probably one of the calmest. He looks fantastic. He looks like he's excited to cook as his food. Lawrence's starter, his scallops, with marinated cherry tomatoes and a tomato dashi. So a few elements on my starter have been inspired by Anne-Sophie Pick and the flavour. That long finish that she always talked about. I may not be able to pull off, but I'm going to give it a go. We've also got some pickled green strawberries with sweet woodruff. They're underripe, they're almost sort of savoury in their own way. I think they'll work a treat with scallops. The roast tomato dashi show beautiful flavours of the kombu or the seaweed that he's using. It works very well with the scallops here. My dashi is the, the hardest part of my starter. There's about 10, 11 different ingredients going in there, and hopefully if they all work in harmony, it will build layer upon layer upon layer of flavour. This is a lovely little Asian twist in Lawrence's cookery but we want to taste the sweetness of the scallop and then all the other flavours working together. My main course, I'm cooking a loin and belly of pig. The, the hardest element is going to be I mean, cooking the, the loin. You need to have perfectly crispy skin to perfection. I want, I want a nice, really clean little rack. For the pork belly, we've got a glaze of dark soy, ginger and star anise. It's got kimchi, a Korean fermented cabbage dish. It's taking kimchi to make a glaze. Delicious. You've got braised fermented hispy cabbage. Love the sound of that. Wow. With nashi pear, puree, and sliced pear. Pear, pork, without a doubt, work together. The flavor combination of the whole dish I'm really, really happy with. It might not be everyone's cup of tea. For me, I absolutely love it. Guys, you have 45 minutes left, please. 45 minutes. For dessert, Lawrence has an aerated mint white chocolate. The most difficult part about my dessert is going to be getting the aerated chocolate absolutely spot on. You know, it needs to be set in time. Quite a big ask, especially in a kitchen that hot. As soon as it comes out the vac pack machine, you need to get it straight into the freezer so it freezes while it's aerated. You can't afford for that white chocolate to melt. He's making a passion fruit, lemongrass and coconut ripple ice cream. Yum! <laughs> Who doesn't like ripple ice cream? These flavours sound great. I think if I can pull all three dishes off exactly how I've got the plans, they're all going to blow the judges away. I've never been more determined of anything in my life. 20 minutes, chefs. Your last 20 minutes of the competition. This is the biggest 20 minutes of my life. It's glorious. It's, it's a great feeling. There's, there's goosebumps. Only you, Ollie. Only you. <laughs> Trying to bring something different with me. Quite a lot to do. Lots to be plating up as well, three dishes, so I'm going to start plating really soon. This is my aerated white chocolate. 
So it's got to be very careful not to open it, otherwise it will crack. Yeah, it's set, thankfully. <laughs> it's how, how I wanted it. It's nice and airy, nice and light. It's going to be very, very delicate. <laughs> Ten minutes, please, chefs. Ten minutes. It's been a while since we've felt this amount of pressure in this kitchen. We can really see the concentration on our three chefs. Heads down and just getting on with it. Chefs, you need to know you have five minutes left. Can't say who can win this competition. I've never seen three chefs so focused. They're in touching distance now. Their final checks, all important. They don't want to forget anything. Um, well, I'm happy. Everything's cut, just finishing it off. So, yeah, I feel, feel I'm in a pretty good place at the moment. I'm completely determined, you know, to try to get it down to a T for this, this moment. Your final, final 60 seconds. That's it. Your time is up. <laughs> Lawrence, please, come and join us. They do look good, Lawrence, I've got to say. Yeah, they really do. I just want to dive in and start eating. Lawrence's starter is a pan-seared scallop with heritage cherry tomatoes marinated in dried woodruff and elderflower, wild strawberries, pickled green strawberries, coriander oil, and a roast tomato dashi. The scallop has been cooked perfectly. Love the golden color. This tomato dashi has got a light smokiness through it. And I like that it's not sweet in any way because the tomatoes, they have that sweetness. Beautifully cooked scallop, fascinated with the use of the white strawberries on the dish, and they do work together. Unfortunately, the tomatoes feel like they've just not had enough time to absorb the flavours and the marinade that you were looking for. There's almost a raw element to them, which is fine. They work well, they're fresh, they bring something to the plate. For me, the dish just lacks a little bit of punch. Love the tomatoes and the strawberries and the dashi. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And it does remind me of your time in Maison Pic. Really, really good. For his main, Lawrence has cooked pork loin and kimchi soy and mirin glazed pork belly with braised fermented hispy cabbage, a soy and kimchi puree, pear puree, and pickled nashi pear. Every now and again in a competition, we all eat a dish that we will never forget. That is absolutely outstanding. That pork is perfectly cooked crispy crackling on the outside. I mean, that's very hard to get. This fermented hispy cabbage. Oh, that is on another level. Stunning, stunning dish. Well done. Thank you, Chef. <laughs>